Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial of my gaming tutorial series and today we'll be talking about installing plugins for your Arc server using the Arc server manager obviously with the Arc server API. Um, all of the links to these uh, softwares and downloads will be in the description below. I'm just quickly going to open the um, Arc Server Manager just to see if everything is fine with the service as far. Yes, we always need to write as a, with administration rights, otherwise it won't start well. Okay, and as you can see, there's actually an up, uh, update. So we're just going to click uh, upgrade now and just click yes. It will close this window and upgrade. And you can see it opens a CMD window. It should download the latest version, extract it, and then install it. And this is how fast it goes. It's, it's a pretty uh, neat piece of software. And yeah, um, as you can see, you've got some tabs uh, that were still there from previous uh, from the previous video. If you want to watch the previous video, this is uh, kind of part two to the ultimate Arc server thing. Um, just check the description below. It should say it, it should put a link. Um, it should there should be a link to the second video. I also put up an info cart for you guys that should uh, fade in sometime around now, and um, so you should be able to find it quite easily. Now we can see we've got an outdated mod, and I'm just quickly going to fix that by uh, clicking upgrade verify. Uh, this will make sure that the server is on the uh, up to date to the newest version, and uh, still need to quickly update this. So as we can see, this will this is uh, reconfiguring and it's upgrading itself. Will take a while because it needs, still needs to download all of the files so that we can um, use them in a practical sense for uh, yeah for uh, doing our server. It's downloading, it should be installing next or extracting. I'm not quite sure which one of those two. I'm a bit tired to be honest. <laughs> I had a long day working and yeah, it seems to be doing its job quite well. Give it a little while and it should be done soon. Okay, it finished the upgrade process and now we we'll still have an outdated mod. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'm just quickly going to look here. Okay, so now it is actually getting the mod download, I believe. Okay, now it's up to date. Alright, so specifically, it doesn't quite always um, uh, upgrade, uh, update the mods. I think that's because um, you have to actually select that in the settings. It, it's um, force. Uh, where, where is it? Uh, I actually actually should should have done that for some reason. Didn't, but whatever. Uh, so what you've guys come to watch this video uh, for is actually the plugins. So also let, uh, let's just get started with that. And one of the first things you'll need to actually get is VC Redist. Um, this is a Microsoft package which you need to download. And uh, it should be in your downloads. You just open it and um, install it. It's a visual, um, visual redistributional package. It's uh, just so that the plugins can actually run. Otherwise, it won't run um, without using... Uh, the, the, I think they're kind of based on C++. So uh, otherwise it won't work. The whole um, Arc Server API integration won't quite uh, yeah get get to the point where you can use it that well, or at least at all. I'm I'm starting to get off point a bit. Um, so yeah, this will take a while. Um, I'm sorry if my PC is on in German. I'm just a Swiss person. That's kind of why um, everything's in German because I usually use my PC for German in German and not in English. Even though English wouldn't probably would make a difference for me. I mean, my server's running that. I'm not going to restart my PC. I mean, I would recommend you to do this, but I'm not going to do it for the uh, purpose of this uh, tutorial. Otherwise, I would, um, it will take me quite a long time to reboot, or at least it will be a bit annoying. 
And um, so you guys should do that. I won't do it for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm just going to click close. And afterwards, uh, I'm going to go to the Arc Server API um, page that I've linked below. And now um, I have no permissions to download. And that pretty much means the download link is here. You will need to register for this. I won't show you how to register. I'll just quickly uh, click the register. Um, and you can pretty much register here if you feel uh, feel like it. I'm just quickly going to log into my um, account uh, in on this website, and I will be able to download. As you can see, the the download is uh, here and it's available now. So I'm just going to click download, and it will be named our KPI zip. And you can open the zip with uh, even with Win Windows, but I'm just going to use WinRAR for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, so now um, when you've done that, what you'll need to do is actually open your server folder. And you can do that pretty easily with the uh, Arc Server Manager. You're just going to click this uh, Open Server Installation Folder button. And it should open. It just opens on a different screen with me. And you will need to go to uh, what Shooter Game Binaries Win64 and uh, you can dump all of this in here uh, inside here and in, inside this folder and you should have an arc api folder there and inside this arc api fo folder there should be plugins and should have one pre-installed which is called permissions and i'm just going to check up on everything if i did it correctly Okay, so pretty much that's all you need to do to install the Arc Server API. Now, if you want to um, download some plugins, I'll also have that in the description. And uh, I'm just going to tutorial um, or show you guys how to download all of these plugins. Uh, I'm just going to get the uh, Game Config Manager. It's a really handy tool. It actually allows you to change settings of your server while it's on so you can kind of reload the server like in minecraft when you add new plugins which i mean it's not a great thing to do with minecraft i'm not sure how well it works here because i haven't quite tested it uh the admins of a game servers did test it and they said it's it works pretty well um so what you want to do is go to the arc api folder go to plugins and then you can just drag this folder into the plugins folder and you should be pretty much uh, uh, done with your uh, plugin installation. All you need to do is start your server up. There might be some uh, configs that you can change. Uh, there's also other plugins which you can download. Uh, they work the same way. You just download it, uh, extract the folder into this uh, plugins folder here. And um, now if you should start your server, I'm just going to click start. Yeah, this isn't actually a live server. It should come up with Arc Server API and then the version and uh, dumping structures. What I also recommend you guys to get, there's this mod called um, Automatic Plugin Update Checker. And this uh, tool will actually allow you to um, check your server for newest uh, plugin updates. And um, you will be able to uh, get notifications through Discord um, when there's a new um, update for uh, anything and I'll um, I'll uh, show you how to install this in the next tutorial so the next part will pretty much be uh, discord integrating your um, arc server and connecting it with your arc server and yeah this is what you should see it should also come up with all the plugins uh, loaded it might take some while because uh, the first start it has to dump all of its structures not quite sure what that means, but it's probably having to do with extracting stuff and um, yes, uh, kind of uh, getting out of the compiled version of this um, API. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like it and um, check out the previous video where I show you how to install uh, or how to set up your server with the Arc Server Manager which is an awesome and handy tool for you guys to use. 
and uh, you can pretty much uh, download the arc, your arc server from it. You can, it has auto updates for mods, plugins, uh, for mods, sorry, for mods and for the arc server. Obviously, plugins will be done in a bit in a different fashion with uh, this um, update checker, which we'll install in the next tutorial. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the tutorial. And yeah, I'll see you next time.